Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my garage. Well, it's been a little over a week since we got the Time USB battery installed here, and I thought I'd stop in and give you guys an update video and tell you what's going on. So, uh, a quick run through. Um, I got this battery for six hundred and nine dollars. I used a twenty dollar code from a teardown video, uh, and for six hundred and nine dollars, I got. Uh, grade A cells and a 200 amp BMS. Now, when I purchased this last chins here, uh, I don't know, five months ago, four or five months ago, it's been a while anyway, uh, it was $600. It comes with automotive grade cells and a 100 amp BMS. Uh, for the nine bucks, you are certainly uh, doing right by buying the Time USB battery. I am 100% happy with the performance I've had out of it. Uh, up to this point, uh, I did a test or two on it. Uh, and it seems to, for sure, seem to be working as good, um, if not better than the flooded lead-acid batteries that it takes the place of, um, even early on in the life of those flooded lead-acid batteries when they were actually working quite well. Uh, I think this is equivalent to uh, those at their prime. Uh, so let's have a quick look here at my battery monitor, uh, give you an idea of what's happened over the past week, and, and I'll try to be quick. Uh, as you can see, this was the last cycle here from the flooded lead acid batteries. And when those three amps worth of lights turned on, it really, really drew the battery down. Uh, you can tell it was given up. Uh, that's just part of the deal there. So as you can see, we installed that day and uh, into the next, uh, that next morning, I in, uh, put the sump pump off the grid uh, and put it on this battery. All those little blips there that you see. Uh, that's when the sump pump turns on. It turns on about every four minutes. About this time of year, somewhere about every four minutes. Uh, somewhere thereabouts, anyway. So I left the sump pump on for a day, make sure everything was all fine there. Uh, actually, probably day and a half or so uh, into two days. And then, uh, as you can see, the weather's been cloudy here. Uh, it's not really doing a whole bunch. Now there's uh, some sun that day. And as you can see, I did have the sump pump in right in here running at the time. Uh, now I did do a refrigerator and some pump test at the same time, uh, just to make sure everything's going to work out pretty good. Now's a good time for that test, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, because it is spring and the ground is moist out there and, and there's a lot of water in it. So the sump pump runs quite a bit, uh, and everything worked out just fine. It ran a full 24 hours. Um, absolutely no issues, uh, whatsoever, um, and even with me and my wife getting in the refrigerator there, uh, if you go back here, you can see my wife and I couldn't stay out of the refrigerator here for this, what, one, two, two and a half hours. The, the refrigerator turned on and didn't shut off uh, because we kept opening the door. Anyway, uh, move on to where we are now, as you can see, on, off. Now, I haven't had the sump pump on uh, for the past couple days, and you can hear my heater just kicked on in the background. Uh, it's not exactly warm out there, but it's not exactly cold either. Uh, and that brings us up to now. Uh, this big dip you see here this morning right there in the middle of my finger. Uh, I had the vacuum cleaner on. Uh, that draws quite a bit, but hey, it powers the vacuum too, just so you know. Uh, and we've had the TV on this morning uh, trying to run up the watt hours here. Uh, as it stands right now, we are at 4604 watt hours. Uh, we're closing in on a half a kilowatt. Uh, that six amps pull is the television out there uh, in the doggy daycare area and uh, at the moment we're getting 6.1 out of it out there have a quick look at the big system she pulling down 14 and a half and uh, yeah 290 kilowatts on that system so we're keeping track of everything and everybody as it stands now, I'm quite happy with this battery. Uh, I would recommend it highly to anyone for 609 bucks. It's the ultimate deal. Get yourself one. Have a good day, everybody, and a better tomorrow.